All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and change this video up a little bit and add an intro. Uh, I feel I should uh, explain a little bit the panel we did. Uh, it was a request. Basically, it had two layers of tile and 300 seat sheets of paper. I ended up using a copy paper. I believe it was a 20 pound. I might have to go and look. Uh, 20 pound copy paper. But essentially what it was was two layers of tile. 300 sheets of copy paper all held together with some duct tape and that was it some very surprising results So let's go ahead and go to the range Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start off with plate one basically uh, Two layers of porcelain tile and 300 sheets of paper We'll be shooting 762 by 39 123 full metal jacket. See what it does. Okay. See what it did. Clear. Go ahead and turn off the other camera. Oh my goodness. Well, that, uh, that stopped it. Not exactly sure where it, uh, We'll go ahead and disassemble this in a little bit. Uh, might as well hit it a few more times, see what happens. Okay, so before we destroy the plate with uh, a bunch of rounds, I figured might as well go ahead, hit it with the M193 full metal jacket, 55 grain. See if, uh, if the speed will get through that and then um, Go from there. Okay. Clear. Whoa, okay, did not go through. Okay, 308. All right, in an effort to get through that uh, first plate there, which is just tile and 300 sheets of paper, we're going 762 by 51. M80 full metal jacket, 149 grain out of this Ruger American. Let's see what we could do. Ooh, that one may have gotten through. All right, clear. I would say it went through. Ouch. Alrighty. Let's uh, finish it off with some more 762 by 39. Okay, now we're gonna see the multi-hit capability. Loaded up three more rounds of 762 by 39. 
going to see what it does to the face there. All righty. Bottom. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Clear. Those may not have been the best placement. Shot one, two, I'm sorry, shot one and two awfully close to, to the M80 and shot three up here. Okay. Holy smokes. Possibly went through this. Otherwise, no new holes. One on the top stopped it. Wow. All right, we're gonna do a tear down of plate one. Exactly what ended up happening. It's what we cut. Whew. All right, here we go. Definitely have some destruction in the in the tile, but it is pretty good. Don't see too much there. Find it much. Just a bunch of paper. There's a piece right there. Piece of jacket. At this point, I decided all I could find was fragments. So let's go on to see how we actually built these panels. So this is a plate design that was brought to me for testing. Basically it has two tiles up front and 300 sheets of paper behind it. Each tile was wrapped with duct tape in both directions as you'll see here shortly. Then after that I wrapped the complete plate together with the duct tape as well. Here I'm marking the 300 sheets. And this is the process I used to wrap the sheets in both directions. I'll speed it up here in a second. Each tile was eight millimeters thick. After wrapping both tiles with duct tape, I decided to tape the tiles together, as you'll see here.
Now the only problem with taping the tiles together is I didn't know which side was the face of the tiles, so I just went ahead and took a guess, figured it out. Uh, I also decided to to tape the paper. Uh, this was a little difficult, but I decided only to do the edges because it was going to be all taped together anyway, as you'll see right now. So now at this point we're all taped up, used about a half roll of duct tape, went ahead and wrote strike face on the front so I would know which side to shoot, and that's our plate. Thanks for watching.